Welcome to Algorand Account Generation. The Algorand blockchain is a public and open blockchain. Anyone can create accounts and transactions. Learning how to create an account is your first step to using the blockchain. Algorand has three types of accounts that we will discuss and how to generate in this video. The first is a generic account. Accounts are entities on the Algorand blockchain associated with specific on-chain data like a balance. An Algorand address is the identifier for an Algorand account. Generally, these accounts can issue transactions on the Algorand network to interact with others. These transactions must be signed to signify that the owner account approves of the transaction. For this reason, accounts are derived from a pair of cryptographic keys. Each account has a public and private key. The private key is used to sign transactions and the public key is used by others to verify that the transaction was indeed signed by that specific account. The second type of account is the multi-sig account. Multi-sig accounts are similar to generic accounts but require multiple signers to approve a transaction. Multi-sig accounts are derived from an ordered set of accounts with a specific requirement for the number of signers or threshold to approve a transaction. These accounts have balances and all other features of generic accounts but require multiple signers to issue the transaction. The final type of account is the logic account. These accounts hold balances just like the previous two. The primary difference is that where the previous types of Algorand accounts are signed with private keys, logic accounts are signed by their logic. This means that when a logic account sends a transaction, the Algorand blockchain checks the logic and if it passes, the transaction will succeed. If the logic fails, the transaction will fail as well. We have two types of logic accounts, smart signatures and smart contracts. Smart signatures are logic accounts that are only evaluated at the time of submission and have very little access to ledger data. Additionally, their logic is not stored on chain prior to executing. Smart contracts on the converse live on the network and can be triggered by anyone as the logic lives on chain after the contract is deployed. More information on smart contracts and smart signatures will be covered in a later video. Also more videos will cover key management, how to create multi-sigs, and how to rekey an account. Rekeying an account facilitates signing by another account without changing the public key. There are a few ways to create accounts. The first is to use a wallet without code. The second is through command line tools such as Algo Key and Goal. And the third is through using the SDKs. Let's look at generating a generic account and then we'll cover some of the additional features of accounts as well. So let's start with wallets. First of all, you would probably want to download the Para Algo wallet. Also, there are other wallets that are available as well. Algo Signer is a Chrome extension. My Algo is a web-based wallet. And then there also is a Wallet Connect protocol for apps. And there are many ecosystem wallets as well that are prominently displayed on the developer portal. So with Para Wallet, let's take a look at how you'd go about uh, doing this. The first thing is we probably want to create a testnet account first. Uh, most developers will use that when they're developing. So you want to go to the settings tab and then click on developer settings. Click node settings and then click on testnet. Next, go back out to the home page and then uh, click on the plus button to add an account. Select on the next screen, I want to create an account. And then select on this screen that you want to create a new account. This is important. Now we're going to create a backup phrase for your account. Get ready to write down the phrase and then it provides the phrase. Now you would really need to uh, write this down and make sure you have it available uh, in an offline manner. This is very important. You're provided with a 25 word passphrase. This is derived from your private key. This you do not share with anyone. You only keep this to yourself. 
can't stress this enough, but you really need to have an offline copy of this available. If you get another phone, you want to install the Alcopara wallet on it or restore it from a backup, it will not restore the accounts. It will only restore the, the application, the Para wallet. You would need to restore an account with the 25 word passphrase. Then it's going to prompt you to verify you have a uh, an offline version of it. Once that's verified, you have the ability to go ahead and create uh, an account name. This is only specific to your, your own wallet. And you get the account is verified, and now you'll see it in your list. So next, what we wanna do is fund this account. And then we can do this all through the pair wallet as well for testnet accounts. You can see we've got a zero balance, and typically we need to get some kind of testnet algos in there to do any kind of testing. So under the uh, More button, uh, go ahead and select that, and what you'll see under it is the address and a few other items. So you want to copy the address off because we're going to need that for the, to dispense funds. Go to Developer Settings again. This time select Algorand Dispenser, and then I'll actually go out to the uh, browser and go out to the dispenser website. What you'll need to do is paste in that account that you copied off. By default, it may already be in there if it is the first one on the list in the wallet. That's what the default is to. And once you've done that, go ahead and hit the dispense button. And wait a few seconds and you'll see a message come up from the wallet saying the account uh, has been uh, populated with some algos. And you can see the actual um, account address down below as well as the tra transaction ID. Once you return to the wallet, to the account level, you'll see that you have five algos have been dispensed to it. So next up, let's go ahead and um, use the command line tools next to show you how to create accounts. The first one we're going to use is the algo key generate. And there you can see it populates the 25 word passphrase as well as it gives you your uh, public key to the account. Now let's show you how to do this in goal. First thing we're going to do is create a brand new wallet in goal. Go ahead and enter the passwords. That creates the wallet and then it's going to do uh, a prompt here to go ahead and see what the backup phrase is for the entire wallet. So any accounts that you store in this wallet can be restored by using this passphrase that you see right here. The wallet key is known as the derivation key, and it can re-derive the same accounts that were created in order. So if you restore the wallet with the derivation key and create new accounts, you'll get the same accounts in order as you had previously. Note that if you import new accounts that weren't created with the derivation key, those will not be restored. So next we're going to create an account in that wallet. So we'll do a goal account new, and then we're going to create this new account and you see the address here. But notice you do not see the passphrase. So how do you get that? There is a goal account export command to go ahead and obtain that passphrase for that particular account in the wallet that we have just put it. And there it is. Now you see the passphrase displayed for the account. Okay, now let's take it creating accounts in the SDKs. Uh, the first example here is gonna be doing it in JavaScript. So I'm just going to go ahead and run this. And here's the SDK method to do that, generate account. So I hop over this, and then you'll see the account variable here has both the address as well as the private key. So go ahead and print off the address. You can see the address down below. And then here is a method that's used to extract the mnemonic from the uh, private key. There is the mnemonic that we have um, uh, created. Next, you'll probably want to dispense some funds, and we'll go ahead and dispense it. And I do want you to notice down here, when you have finished testing, please return unused algos to the source, which is this address right here. So we'll create a client, and what we're going to do is do a transaction. And that address that we saw in the dispenser, I'm going to make the receiver as well as the closeout. So what will happen is it's going to send 0.1 algos to the receiver address and the way it will um, get rid of the rest is by this closeout um, parameter that's part of the uh, transaction. And there you have it, it completed running the transaction and you can see the amounts down below. We had 100,000 micro algos or 0.1 algos and then the fee and then the closeout amount. And for the Python developer, it's very similar. 
And here the SDK call in Python is just generate account. And that'll return back both the address and your, your private key. And so you can actually see the private key here. And what we're going to do here is generate the mnemonic from the private key. And there's the mnemonic right there. And everything else will be the same. And then you can see the same kind of balances print out at the bottom. So in summary, we saw how to create accounts with the Para Algo wallet. And also how to use testnet mode in the wallet and as well as dispense funds uh, to those testnet accounts. We also saw the command line usage with Algo key uh, that creates a standalone account. Goal will create a wallet and then you create accounts within that wallet and there's a passphrase associated with each one of those. And then finally, we looked at the SDKs in creating uh, an account. We showed both Python and JavaScript. There's also a link here at the bottom for the deck and account generation resources. So that has the code, the deck, the docs, the SDKs, links to videos, as well as links to all the wallets and also to join the Discord server if you haven't yet. That'll do it. Thank you very much for watching.